Hi, my name is Erin and I'm from Siena Branch Library. Today we're going to be taking unused book pages and turning them into book flower art. This is a great craft for any age and is also good if you're like me and you may not have a lot of crafting skills. You can use the flowers to turn into a pretty seasonal bouquet or into a wreath. The supplies needed for this craft are fairly simple. First, you're going to want some cardstock cut into a six by six inch square. Second, you're gonna want some floral wire. Book pages cut into your six by six inch, six inch square using your template. Some scissors and some tissue paper in your desired color or colors. And here you can see an example of some of our finished flowers. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to take our cardstock template and use that to cut our tissue paper. And actually, it'll go a little quicker for you if you go ahead and fold the tissue paper into two. And as you can see here, I'm using multiple colors. Now that we have that done, we can take our book pages that I previously cut and begin layering that to make the flower petals. So first I'm going to lay down a sheet of book paper and we're going to have six layers. So I'm just going to start alternating until I have six layers. And that's all there is to that. You can go ahead and stack them to line them up. And then the next step is to fold them back, the pages back and forth, uh, kind of like you're making a paper fan. So we're going to fold forward and then backward and then repeat that until the pages are all folded. Once we're done with that, we can just pinch the page in the middle and then take our length of floral wire and wrap it around the center. And then you can leave a little length here um, if you want to create um, essentially a stem or you'd like to have a piece of wire to work with if you're going to be attaching it to a wreath. And now that we have the pages all folded together, we are going to kind of cut a curved edge so we can create the edges of the petal. So just take your scissors and cut a little curve. And now that we have that finished, we can take the pages and we can start pulling them towards us to create the petals. So just do this one page at a time and be very gentle. Don't worry if you do tear a page, that's okay. And as you can see, we have the beginning of a flower forming. And so now we're just going to repeat that process on the other side. And once you have all the uh, pieces folded up, then just take them and start to shape them so the flower looks how you'd like it to look. Once you're finished, you have a pretty flower 
that you can, you can use to make a bouquet, to uh, wrap presents with, and to make a wreath. So this is a fun project that you can do for yourself or with your family.